We are Thermo Life, and I am Shazam. I'm Unbreakable. Good afternoon. I'm Lauren Anis with RCB TV. Breaking news today as the business Thermo Life has just announced that, that they have come out with the newest life saving device for search and rescue teams. Our reporters had a chance to talk to them, and Thermo Life stated that they were presented with three military patents and were advised to uh, utilize those pa patents other than the military. They also stated that they wanted to address a problem that was killing more than heat, hypothermia. Hypothermia kills more than we know, approximately 144,000 a year. When a person is submerged in freezing waters, the clock starts its timer. When there seemed to be no saving grace, Thermal Life came out with the Thermal Life HypoVest. To gain more insight, our reporters had a chance to speak to the team themselves. Shazam. Thank you, Laura. So, we went ahead, and as designing the Thermal Life HypoVest, we went ahead and talked to the experts there at the Yosemite National Park. We talked to the Na National Park Rangers and got some interesting information from them. One, that they're, the, they're split up into different teams that specifically go for certain uh, disasters. They have an ICE team, so we are uh, working in development with the ICE team at the moment in communication with them. Uh, and they are primarily only active uh, for the ICE team between November and March. Those are our target, uh, target times where this product would be in use. Now, the design. It was inspired primarily from a, uh, the lead vest that dentists tend to use when they're using x-rays or a cooking apron. So, whenever you think about a, a emergency situation, you think not enough, you have very limited time. Therefore, the vest was designed to be able to be put on a person without having time of putting the people into sleeves or putting it over a person's head. Therefore, you can focus on saving the patient uh, as soon as possible. The design would have a front pocket, a large front pocket for a thermal, uh, uh, thermal pouch, a chemical bag that would uh, aerate up to about 120 degrees in order to focus on the the internal temperatures of your vital organs. That's only focusing on the vital organs, not pulling any of the cold uh, blood from your extremities to your heart that would cause shock. So how it would work would be that a uh, hose would come from the uh, pocket uh, attached to the uh, bulb that is common to most uh, blood pressure uh, uh, gauges in medical field and it, that would allow it, the oxygen to go into the chemical bag thus heating up the bag and it would be able to be used in tandem with the space bags that the current methods that are used by rescue teams to prevent hypothermia or to treat. Unbreakable. Now some of the specifications we based the thermal pack and our costs off of well basically hand one we found on Amazon is a 12 hour hand warm pouch. We discounted the price then by 50%. So the pouch itself would cost about $225, but that's the only part that the rescuers would need to replace. The whole package itself would be about $252. Now, in that, this includes the hand pump costs, but does not include manufacturing and labor costs. Uh, now, moving on. So, it sounds really expensive, but really, when you focus in on it, we base those five months of use based on minimum temperatures, minimum average temperatures, I should say, and precipitation rates. Now, the cost doesn't seem that much when you consider that it's only going to be really used probably five out of 12 months, and then every, not every rescue is going to require the use of the hypo, of the thermal life vest. Um, they could even use their blanket um, in less serious cases, but otherwise, the thermal life vest is specifically for those life or death, really serious scenarios. Back to you, Lauren. Thank you, Nathan. The Thermal Life Hypo Vest has seemed to really claim its name as the newest life-saving life -saving device. I thank you all for watching today. This has been RCV-TV. Signing off, I'm Lauren Amos. Thanks.